Hello everyone and welcome to Magic Kingdom. So today I just decided to come to the park for a little bit just because, you know, I could really use a little bit of magic today. I have kind of been having a little bit of a rough time recently and what's better to make you feel just a little bit more uplifted than some Disney magic. So I am here at Magic Kingdom. We are going to have a fun little magical day and first stop on the checklist today is to go get some Starbucks. Now, it is no secret that the Starbucks on Main Street gets very busy. So I am definitely expecting to be standing in line for a little bit of time, but that is a-okay because today Starbucks starts all of their fall drinks officially and there is one that is on the menu that is vegan as is. That is the Apple Crisp Oat Milk Macchiato. Very excited to try it and I hope that they have it here because it sounds amazing. We got the drink. I don't usually get drinks like this. Am I supposed to like mix this or something? Looks good. Definitely think I'm supposed to mix this. Okay, so I mixed the drink together and it tastes much, much better. However, I do wish that I had taken some pictures with it while it was like looked really pretty, you know, with the whatever, but it tastes really good. And also this very nice person in Starbucks saw me struggling with trying to figure out how I was supposed to drink it. And she told me, she gave me this really great little tip. She told me that if you order it upside down, they'll mix it for you. So next time I get this, I will definitely be ordering it upside down because let me tell you, it tastes so, so good, but I didn't do a good job of mixing it. Like you can still see all the little apple syrup at the bottom. It is really good though. Like this is definitely my go-to fall drink this year. I can already guarantee you that. So I did end up taking some pictures though. Of course, you know, self-timer queen over here took some pictures by the castle. And while I was doing that, the friendship uh, fair thing, the friendship, and while I was doing that, the friendship fair show, is that what it's called? And while I was doing that, the friendship show, what is it called? And while I was doing that, the magical friendship fair was going on on the castle stage. So it was super fun. I was hearing that in the background. I love that little show. I think it's really cute. So I was definitely enjoying getting to catch some little pieces of that. And now we are just sitting on the hub grass. Like I said, I just needed a little mental health day here at the park. When I am going through a tough time, I just absolutely love surrounding myself with the things that make me the happiest. And of course, Disney has always been one of those things and it's still is and I just absolutely love getting to be able to come here whenever I want and just really take in the things that make me feel so so good it is super hot though right now and the lighting probably looks terrible for you I'm so sorry because I am the Sun is behind me but it is really hot my hair is already getting so frizzy and I forgot my sunglasses which I don't know how I did that but yeah, it's super bright and sunny, which of course is a good thing because if it wasn't bright and sunny, it would probably be like a hurricane. But yes, I'm very, very happy to be here. And in a little bit, I'm gonna go get a Mickey pretzel. I might do some lunch here. I'm not too sure. I might mobile order a lunch or I might just do the pretzel and call it a day. I don't know, we shall see. But there is this huge family over here taking a big group picture. <laughs> It is so cute. They keep having them like say different things. Actually, I don't know if that's a family. It might be, I don't know, a big group is taking pictures and they keep having them say stuff for the photo pass photographer. I don't know if you could hear them in the background, but it's such a big group. Like it just sounded like a big sea of people talking. But yes, so I don't know what the day is gonna look like for the rest of the day, but oh, I did want to tell you guys when I first got here, I went into the Emporium because did I come in a Disney shirt? Yes, of course I did. But did I want to see if I could find a different one to buy for my pictures? Yes. I was actually looking for a Halloween one. I got the most adorable little like sweatshirt. It was one of the Halloween ones and I absolutely love it. The last time I was here, I got that. But they had like a t-shirt version of it too, I think, last time I was here. And they didn't have it this time. They only had it in the kids' sizes. So I don't know if it was only kids last time too and I just didn't know. I don't know, but they didn't really have any like cute shirts that I wanted. I looked in the Emporium, so I think I might look around at some of the other stores and just see, but I don't know. We shall see. Do I need to spend more money? No. Will I probably end up spending more money today? Yes. I only go to see so I can watch the song and dance and He's got a style to a wonderful style that makes us sad. Our smile. So I just saw the 
Dapper Dams performing. They are so amazing. And I literally, I love the Dapper Dams. Now I just looked over and some friends were out here to say hello. No matter how many times I get to see our little friends, I just never get sick of saying hi to them. So of course the Dapper Dams were in their cute little fall colors, which I absolutely love. And of course the fall drinks are here and fall is in full swing here at the Magic Kingdom. We have all of these amazing little pumpkin friends out here. I just love looking at all of the fall decorations that Magic Kingdom has. Of course, all the pumpkins and all the leaves, all the beautiful fall colors are just full force here you gotta love it honestly fall is one of my favorite seasons so seeing it all decked out in the fall decor is just always so so much fun I love seeing all the pumpkins and the orange and yellows it's just it's the best so of course in order to feel maximum magic today we must meet some characters so I'm in line right now for Winnie the Pooh and Taker very excited. The last time I met Taker was a few years ago and he was just the cutest so I'm very excited to meet them again. But I'm trying to think of something fun to ask. What should I ask them? How are you guys? Oh my gosh, I am so so happy to meet you. It is so wonderful to see you guys. So I know you have lots of friends to meet so I'll make this really quick. But I've been feeling a little bit sad like Eeyore recently. I know. So I came here to have the best day ever. And of course that included meeting you guys. So do you have any other tips for like having a really good day? Eating some honey? I think that's honestly really good. No? You have a better tip? What is your better tip? Bouncing? Oh, I don't know. My stomach might start hurting if I bounce too much. What do you think? Maybe honey is the best way to go. But my stomach might start hurting then too. I don't know. Well, I think meeting you guys was just what I needed. So if it's okay with you, maybe our friend here can take a really quick picture of us. Awesome. You guys, truly, that was one of the best character interactions that I've had in such a long time. Winnie the Pooh and Tigger are just some of the most fun little characters to me. And I just, I absolutely love them. That was so, so much fun. So I was thinking of going on the Pooh ride. However, I am walking back towards the castle it's getting a little late now it's already like 2 20 and i mean i didn't get here super early i kind of slept in a little bit today but that is okay i was however planning on only staying here till like three though so i'm not really sure what else i want to do but it was just uh, i'm so happy that i waited in line to meet them that was so much fun they gave me some really good tips on how to have the best day ever and it was just it was so much fun. All right, you guys, so I, sh I just walked in a humongous circle and came over to Big Top Souvenirs. I have not been in this shop in ages. Like, it has been seriously so long, I even forgot it was here. And the last time I was in here, it was actually just like a little resting area because I it was during like 2020 and it was just all empty. And it was so nice because it was literally just a nice little seat. I think this is where it was. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Anywho, I'm just looking around. Like I said, you know, always tempted to spend money that I don't have. And I really like these ears. I've seen them a couple times now, but I don't have any ears that are this bright blue of a color. Like, I think this is so, so pretty. But it feels kind of too summery to buy now since it's literally like fall now. I do really feel like I need some new ears though. I feel like I don't have enough ears. I literally have a whole container of them, but I feel like I need more. These are super cute. I actually really like these a lot. I'm just trying to imagine like when I would actually wear them. These are a pair that I have continued to be tempted to buy and still just have not bit the bullet to buy them. I really love them, but I have so many ears that are like gold and I just feel like I don't need any more gold ears. I think I need a purple pair of ears. Do they even sell purple ears? Like I honestly really think that I need purple ears. Oh, look at how cute these are. Okay, these little donut ears are absolutely adorable. But again, I have so many ears that are the same color. Like I need something that is just like purple, like just plain purple. People always ask me what I miss about being vegan. And honestly, one of the things are all of these treats. Like seriously, look at how good all of these little apples and cookies. And oh my gosh, they all look so, so good. And I just, I can't have any of them. All right, you guys, I spoke a little too soon. I ended up back over here at Winnie the Pooh, and I decided to just go 
ahead and do it. I'm here, it's only a 20 minute wait, and I figured I might as well just stick along with the food theme. I mean, they gave me so many good ideas on how to have the best day ever that I feel like it wouldn't be complete if I didn't do the ride, so it just makes sense. Well, friends, you won't believe it. I was literally just about to get on the ride and it broke down. So they did have us all exit the line and they gave everyone a multiple experience pass to be able to book a lightning lane for another attraction. I'm not sure how much longer I will be here in order to use it, but that was super nice of them to be able to do that for us so that, of course, since we couldn't do the ride, we at least can go get to do something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if there's anything else that I wanna do here. I don't know, we'll see. But I am gonna quickly grab some water and my pretzel now. I'm honestly not feeling that hungry. That coffee was so filling. I shouldn't have gotten such a big one, but it's okay because it was delicious. However, since it was so much coffee and I literally have not drank any water today, I'm starting to feel a little bit shaky and just some, like I feel like I need something in my system other than coffee. It's like three o'clock and that's all I've had today. So I'm gonna go quickly grab some water and a pretzel and hopefully that makes me feel a little bit better. And then I'm gonna just finish up some last little things here. And honestly, even though I couldn't get on the ride, today has been such a fun day. On the bright side, it looks like I made it just in time to see Festival of Fantasy. Festival of Fantasy again. I haven't seen it since it's come back, so that was so much fun. I did check the forecast and it said it wasn't supposed to rain until 6, which I figured was perfect since I didn't think I was going to be here that long, but it did just start drizzling a little bit. Hopefully it was just a quick little spritz and it doesn't completely downpour, but you know, it's Florida. Well friends, I definitely pressed my luck by hoping that it wouldn't rain because it is now downpouring. It's fine though. I just took some coverage under the Tomorrowland Terrace. This is where I used to always, always sit, like right in this little section because it was just the perfect little place to like kind of avoid all of the big crowds but still be able to see the castle, all that fun stuff. However, the seating is now blocked off, I think because they do the dessert party over here. So unfortunately, I cannot sit over here. However, I am going to stay under here to uh, avoid some of the rain. And I also did, of course, get my Mickey pretzel. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat that and hope and pray that the rain stops soon. Well, friends, the rain has officially stopped. Well, kind of stopped. It's slowed down, but it's not really raining anymore. And I just checked and it looks like Winnie the Pooh is back up. So I think I'm gonna head back over there one last time today and use my little pass that they gave me to go through Lightning Lane to go on that ride before I leave. friends I am back at my apartment I just took a shower got into my PJs and I just wanted to hop back on here of course to say thank you guys so much for watching and that I hope that you enjoyed on my way out I did go into the Emporium and I actually did end up getting something however unfortunately 
it was not something for me but that is okay it is super beautiful it is a little cinderella's carriage pumpkin scented candle that i got for someone as a gift i think that it is so so beautiful and i was really happy that i saw it because i think it's perfect for the gift that i'm giving and even though i did not get anything for myself i am still very happy that i was able to get something because a little bit of retail therapy sometimes for me can be very very nice so i do enjoy shopping like i said and spending my money that i don't have i did actually Actually end up seeing the t-shirt that I wanted that they didn't have when I first got there but for some reason once I saw it again I just didn't like it as much as I remembered liking it the other day when I saw it so I did end up passing on it and not getting it this time but there is still so many cute Halloween things I do want to go over to World of Disney at Disney Springs and see what they have and hopefully there is a few other little things that I can get for this Halloween season but thank you guys so much for watching of course I did want to say that going to to the park and doing these little things are not going to just automatically make me feel 100% better but the fact that I have the ability to be able to do these things is just so special and I do not take it for granted at all. Just getting to go into Magic Kingdom and stay there for a couple of hours and meet some fun characters, do a ride or two, get my favorite Disney snacks. It's just such a beautiful thing and I'm so, so grateful for it. And of course, like I said, it's not an overnight cure, but they are little things that do help make me feel better in the moment. So I am incredibly grateful for the opportunity to be able to do that. And of course, as always, I am so, so happy that I was able to bring you guys along with me. So if you want to follow along on my adventures, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned and I will see you all in the next one. Have a beautiful and blessed day everyone. Bye!